Back to Kratos. A plan. The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is an Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. Oh. You encouraged his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Let's go find the Norns then. I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. And not just because of prophecies. No one has ever united the realms as you once did. That is not who I am anymore. I know you feel that way now. I've lost myself before, more than once. But believe me, there is something beyond that. And what is that? Purpose. Purpose is the path that leads you to yourself. So you would have me accept my fate. Lead your armies into war. Secure your vengeance. If securing our justice is not your purpose, then find another. For your own sake. <laughs> she does that. Yeah, she's got a point. Even though that's not the real tier, it's Odin. Well, you think you, you think this? Don't try to talk me into coming. You think this is the first time I? Tales of our fates. It's everything I've walked away from. When you're ready to seek the Norns, I'm with you. Just taking a moment. Yeah, baby. Anyways, Tyr, you think the, you think it's the first time I've, I've I've played this story? Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. How would a trace get to Asgard? I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. 
I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. They bring stone from a dead troll. Oh, hey, great. You know me and my love of handling the dead. <laughs> Again, is it? Yeah, what's wrong? Why does it do that? Just checking on something. Just checking on. Got it. Hang on. I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have a snack. Hmm. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're well. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? And go we shall. Madam Neetho, where have you Neetho? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to. Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Nethode's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. <laughs> uh, squirrel. Is there a doorway? Nope. Well, oh, back to Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No, that is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Hmm. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. What? Well, of course. <laughs> we should get down to the wolves, brother. Nothing nothing to collect here.
Hello, Wolfies. Can I pet them? No? God damn it. <coughs> Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Every mammal's at first. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? Atreus and I reached Jotunheim. We found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not a problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Fair enough, brother. Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. The raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekron. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was suddenly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal. Why? Whatever. Oh. Mm-hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The Well of Earth, their home, is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's mind? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, have you encountered these Norns? Not personally. Freya's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. 
wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, do you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the norms last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking oh. up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the old serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abused their power. God of War 2. I challenged them. They threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Lads, I thought death had cured me of my appetite. But damn if I can't stop thinking about the smell of tear stew. Awakened a fair few culinary cravings, did. Black pudding, haggis and neeps, oh! Porridge and honey. What about you, brother? Any pre-fimble winter foods you're aching for? Olives. What the hell's an olive? That's part of Tear statue. That is treasure. Defend the peace. I remember the Yotna crafting these bracers for Tear statue. They chose only their most talented and accomplished to do the job. You have a good memory, Freya. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to honor him. The Giants were not wrong. Fancy seeing you here. craftsmanship like this before. Can't imagine how old it is. Now where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears vault. Some lovely warships, though. I thought I got him.
Oh, son of a bitch! Son of a bitch! Something you need to do before we find the Norns? No, I just want to heal. Oh my god!
down. Look, there's some debris over there. I'm guessing from Tyr's poor statue. Iron peace, not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact. belongs to Fjotrlun. Fjotrlun, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. This outpost is what's left of Fjortelund. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. <gasps> oh. Only your wolves can help us find the wolves. I know, I know, I know. I just need to recover. By using... Me, her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Namir? Did she say that? No, just that they kept it hidden.
Okay. I hear it. Oh, I see it. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on. Come on. Shed some light. <laughs> what? No, she never mentioned. Mentioned what, Mimir? that key belongs to no lock it is broken not broken it's just split in half perhaps we could find its partner Counter any artifacts? Mamir, what did those runes say? Secret. She loved another, a king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love, but her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come on. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? I suppose I did. Oh, <laughs> 
That's all of them. These were coal raiders. Infamous for Eating them. wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was... kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. That must be Tyr's helmet, from his statue. Win mines, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. Oh! to be a sculptor from the southern lands. Isn't that the spear from Tyr's statue? Wish for peace. Be ready for war. Well, I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. I always admired the love Tyr inspired. Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not.
We shall. Still wine. Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. Camp. Kratos, we should do something about them. We're about to do that. A nice night. Shame it's rusted.
<laughs> Accursed wolves. I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep <laughs> Dagger. Impractical. Ceremonial. Got him. Another coal raider camp. We should do something about them and put your wolves at ease. Oh, we will. But first, let me pick up this treasure. Oh, 
Is he the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort from his death. Oh, fuck. They're still scared. Not of the Raiders. <laughs> Good girls.
I am so stupid. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. I have to steer spear, but it doesn't work. Doesn't want to work. from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. Can't go that way yet. Force it. Smart woman. Kratos, I see something.
Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. again oh yeah does this look like an abandoned treasury to you hi it does it's Seagrin's family crest looks like a vault door to me that key we found in another part of Seagrin's kingdom think it'll unlock it not when it's broken in two then let us find the other half Sorry. Here, but where? Ah! Ha, ha. What's that? I wonder if we shouldn't check back on the Raven Tree. I'm all for exploring the area, but to be clear, it's down there we'll find the Norns. What's that outpost? Sentry! to work on these I'll disinfect my tools Ooh, a souvenir from foreign lands say one thing for tear he's got taste Where'd you find this? Midgard? Ooh, a souvenir from foreign lands. 
Just had to take the rubber band off my hair. Oh, I had to let that shit out. I'm sorry. Another sign from Fjordland, Lemir. Another crane. As usual. Yet another sleeping beast. The handiwork of Alvis Stonefoot. It's about waking the trolls with the relic. But we already figured that out for ourselves, didn't we? Just check something. Oh, I hear it. What do I? Oh, there it is. Homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mamiya, if you want to, oh! you might not like everything you find. So she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly are. <laughs>
of the ravens. instrument from your homeland isn't it can you play yes will you no <laughs> can you play yes will you play no riches and power aside to follow a higher calling with the Valkyrie. You really put her on a pedestal. That's what pedestals are for, aren't they? Raising up the virtuous. If you say so. Of course I, of course I say so, your highness.
Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. I can't. It is. Oh, Mia. Poor Mimir. Hey, they reunited. They got back together. Mimir and Sigrun. Oh, okay. Look, the other half of the vault key. Now that we've made the key whole again, we should head back to the treasury. See what fortunes await inside. Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrid and her brother had issues over that. Oh, and all the time Sigrid and I spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. How can I help? Say one thing for Tyr, he's got taste. There's Fjordaloon's treasury. We can enter the vault now. Yeah. 
Here sits Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Mm-hmm. She knows something. Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. Once she did, it was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. What's that? A diagram for a sword hilt. Perhaps we should show it to one of the dwarves. They'll know what to do with it. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Hmm. Interesting. the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. Hmm. 
Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Somar. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others, if you're curious. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors, and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we will see soon enough. <laughs> Suggest the ominous broken gravestone. The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Oh, no. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. Continue tracking the Norns. But if we use your sled, your wolves could follow the scent of the Norns and take us to them. Isn't that why we're out here? Kratos? Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer.
Back here again. This is the area. Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what okay. exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. And we were all just here. <laughs> oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap. search will only get more dangerous then we keep looking back to the wolves then yeah we keep looking <laughs> the wolves have picked up another trail keep following their <laughs> when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. I was afraid of that. Oh, I know what this is. Frankie the Zealot! Ah! <laughs> 
I was close. Fuck!
bag. You knew this warrior. Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Hmm. <laughs> down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Seagram who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I had it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I am no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well... Seagram must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guess? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But it helped me just the same. Freya, where is Seagram now? Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim. We can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. This is the place. All right. <clears throat> we need to work our way up this way. God damn it. Up there. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Oh, guess I have to go back down. Yeah. 
More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Above you! Incoming fire! <laughs> I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. I hear it. Aha! There you are, you little bastard. <laughs> The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. I want to get that noise in your chest. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Hmm. 
Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. <laughs> yeah, very delightful. minds yet he certainly seems real enough i hate to tell you the parts in your mind will be real too <laughs> seems he was guarding that way outside different like a confused memory a rather hostile memory at that please fate should know i will not be deterred <laughs> like the sisters of fate Well, now she's with me. Forgot smash man alive! 
Yeah, they did forget the smartest man alive. Clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. A phantom! The Norns have a phantom! Of course the Norns have a phantom! Primal Flames, another one. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <laughs> That itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear. 
Jesus. But this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? Mm. I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <laughs> Babbling! Oh shit! Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Falter, come back! Talk to me! Oh shit! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You saw the favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave my death until you turned on you! I know secrets. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. Counselor for peace, an ally to all those. Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scotty? To Rolla? Or to Tonya? No! You only took the side of the powerful men who you! Baba, watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a private god in need and you can't help but aid him and call him brother! And who you always do? Who you are! And it's who? Yeah. It's not real, man. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Come here! Brother, help me! The monster! Atreus! I am coming! No. Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! That's all I have to do. And now, he's mine. 
the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still yeah what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. You have to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that Poseidon. might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Well, meet the fates, the Norns. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called him the destroyer of fate. There must be a way to subvert destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When my son was for shut up! That's right. That, that is very annoying. Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. 
Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are Everything. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how wrong they will be. Wow, that was educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Things getting more normal already. Wait, that tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. As we know what uh, Brother, what they said about the boy? Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Well, new mission. Kill Heimdall. Supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure. We've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna kill him with the weapon that I already have because it's a new game plus. missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. 
Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. The word of fate complete. Find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Even though we just did most of the side quests here. Well, as of right now, the lore and oh, all they need is is the, the legendary chest and the lore. But I know it's blocked up right now. So, uh, and I'm trying to get to where I fought Thor, but I can't do that yet because uh, the place is not locked. Well, the place is not unlocked yet. Seems like old 
times. Hmm? All we used to travel through this temple constantly. A quick how do you do to block. Then off on another adventure. You miss it? Aye. Everything for help. Simple like that. Agreed. Why do you stare? He's gonna be fine, you know. I do not. He's getting what he needs. He is in danger. And being with you, he was safe as houses, huh? Never got close to dying. Not even once? I did not come to you for a lecture. I know. It's on the house. My new customer loyalty program. We will speak no more of it. Hope I did the lady proud. I can still go inside? Damn! <laughs> That's funny. Lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. You said you and Thor popped that? Yes. The result of our weapons colliding. Ouch. Yes. And I know where I dropped his fucking teeth. Where's his fucking tooth? Oh, there it is. of Odin's very secretive, trusted with his dirtiest deeds. Never met her myself.
tell me of this power Heimdall wields? He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neetho has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned words will be a walk in the park. Well, any questions before you travel on? About Neetho. <coughs> you should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. Now please, take the capture device and see if you can find our missing leaned worms. Journey forth in health and safety, my friends. Now, what else so, might so there be to discuss? Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Go away now. All right, I'm gonna be stopping right here. So, so yeah. Uh, how long did I spend? <sighs> Over five hours already. So, uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I'm gonna be taking a break right now, and uh, I should be able, you know, to get back on this to, to continue on like tomorrow or or the next couple of days. So, I don't know. I got a really busy schedule ahead of me right now. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you next time from. The big boy. Later.